There are several other disciplines that, that do come in contact with the patient. There is only one discipline that interacts with the patient, works with the patient to understand what the patient wants, and that is us. So when Genentech initially started, most of our drugs were oncology drugs. So with oncology drugs, you take an IV in your doctor's office. And so the route of administration was not a major factor in our drugs being successful. But then we started moving away from oncology into other disease areas like immunology, for example. And so if you think of an asthma patient, they don't want to go and get an IV every month in their doctor's office. If I have asthma and the doctor tells me you have to come in and get an IV every month, that's not going to be my drug of choice. The drugs we make are no use if the patients don't take it. So we don't want the device to become a roadblock or a hurdle or something that reminds you of your disease every single time you're using it. We want it to almost become transparent. If I give you a pen and there's a button on the top, that's where you're going to hit. If you want to open a door, you're going to turn the knob this way. If you see green, you think it's a good thing. If you see red, you know you need to stop. So there's a lot of things that people take for granted that you might not notice. But when you start seeing people interact with the devices, all these things play a part in that interaction. To make that experience to the user of the device that, that delivers that drug so seamless, and take the visceral part of that experience completely out of the equation. I think we've achieved what we've sought to achieve. We do a lot of mechanical challenges for our devices, which is a really fun part of the job. So we get to take devices into the lab, we put them on microscope or we put them on force machines. We push them, we pull them, we break them, we store them over time and then we test them again. And we really characterize all of the different aspects of the device performance to make sure that the device works and that the drug within the device still works. The goal is to try to make the design of the device so intuitive that you ideally eliminate any potential for use error. Therefore, the design accommodates the user and not vice versa. Sometimes you're focused on technical challenges and sometimes you lose the big picture. And so that really amazes me when I can pull back, talk to somebody and really realize the impact of what I'm doing on a day-to-day basis, on the final impact to the, to the users. I mean, this is something that will impact the rest of their lives, their health.